right, hey guys, comment back while racing, and we are back for the 2024 season. Uh, it is opening night, Flat Rock Motor Speedway. And uh, if you're first time joining us, welcome to the channel. Uh, just a small family racing team having some fun together. But anyways, tonight's first night, um, we got some new things going on. So uh, we're gonna get the cars unloaded, gotta get them over through tech. Uh, and uh, obviously we got some new things to show you. So hey, how about we take a look? Uh, I talked about last week uh, the new things with my dad's for the practice uh, video. Uh, my dad's car and some new things with that. Uh, so I'd like to show you the way it looks today. Uh, so we'll get that rolled out of the trailer and then we got to get our three factory stocks through tech uh, to get going here. So uh, man, lots of new things. We'll show you the new car that we got. That's another surprise, so you'll see that here in a second. And uh, yeah, we'll get going. Ah, uh, oh, man, it's good to be back at the racetrack. So let's get these cars on again through tech and uh, jump into practice. All right, a little update from the track. Uh, like I said, Miss Dad's practice. We were getting in the car, getting ready to go for the factory stock practice. And uh, we got a quick, brief shower. Um, so uh, yeah, as you can see, got just enough rain to get everything wet but the sky looks pretty decent i don't know we'll see there's a big big gap in between uh the rain showers between now and it's supposed to be like 8 p.m yesterday it was supposed to be a beautiful day all day so that's kind of frustrating uh but that's the weather in michigan for you so anyways uh yeah hopefully uh track will get dried out here and and i believe factory stocks are on the track right away so here we go. Since we have this little rain delay, I figure I'll do that real quick. I'll start with Dad's street stock and then the new factory, new to us factory stock. So here's here's a quick look at Dad's street stock with the, the new graphic and everything. All right, so these are the guys right here that made the graphic uh, for the car, uh, the decals, I guess you could say. Uh, the guy who takes pictures here is already happy, already said nice things that we don't have reflective numbers anymore. But, uh, you know, there's Races Company, uh, Lee Motorsports. I believe we got Mount Clemens transmission on the hood. Looking good. Those guys actually helped put on the wrap, uh, Brandon and Dave Randa. Um, I keep calling it a wrap decal or whatever you want to call it. Real nice looking thing there. Again, I love the uh, Wild Racing sticker on the back. B&H racing parts that's these guys right here uh, anyways so there's the other car so this is a new to us factory stock um, believe it's a Chevelle it was Steve Smith's car the 23 uh, for a long time uh, he built the car oh dad's taking a nap dad pulled a pretty late night last night uh, said he was up till 3 a.m. Uh, got up at 6 30 or whatever so he is on uh uh tired guy so but anyways here's a good look at the car uh dad's gonna be pulling double duty tonight it's pretty exciting like i said we got both factory stocks as well so we'll have three cars four cars total pretty excited about that anyways uh they are out drying the track trying to get ready for us to go really nice field though here at fly rock hopefully we get this race in um, a lot of factory stocks, which is cool. A lot of factory stocks down there. So, anyways, let's go take a look at the track real quick. All right, well, if you've never seen Fly Rock, here's a look at it. It's a big quarter mile, small three eighths track, and it is basically one giant turn. You see the straightaways are pretty much just a turn. Um, yeah, they're out there getting the track dry. Looks like it should be drive pretty quick all right little update it's raining it's raining pretty good they're calling for a driver's meeting in about 20 minutes hopefully we'll get this thing in but man we're right on the edge of a storm cell too this sucks but that's the update all right the sun's out the track is somewhat dry i guess factory stocks are getting ready to go on the track so uh yeah here we go that that driver's meeting was pretty long 
lots of opinions for the first night, but uh, factory socks, they just asked us to drive clean, drive respectfully, but anyways, hot laps, so let's do it. Dad just got done qualifying the street stock. He uh, qualified fifth, looked good, or four, fourth rather. He looked good. Uh, but now we got factory stocks. So we're getting in the cars right now. There's a race and dad's already in. There's Jake, Jake made it, hi Jake. Uh, all right, here we go.
just got done with qualifying. Race was fast, qualifier. Dad was second. And I don't know where I ended up. I, I caught a I caught a slow car and then uh, I didn't hold his line unfortunately and then dump it blew it or whatever, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Invert was six. I'm sure I'm out of that. So, all right. Well, Dad's, uh, they're going right into features. The no, no heat races because of the rain earlier. Uh, so Dad will be, I don't know, start I second. guess start second? Start second. So Dad's starting outside pole of the A main feature. So we'll uh, get ready for that. And then we have the 100 lap enduro, which if you don't know what the enduros are, it's basically a nonstop race if you spin out. There's no cautions, only red flags, and they keep it going. So that should be exciting in a little bit. But anyways, uh, let's get ready for the AMA.
all things considering, compared to the other cars, that's not too bad. Hey, good try, Dad. Uh, that's a good job. Yeah, you looked uh, a little loose there. Huh? See, so you looked a little loose. Still got 100 laps to go, come on. All right, well guys, this is where I decided to end this video. This is part one of opening night. Um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed at least the, all the craziness of this video with the weather delay. Sorry about all the choppiness at the beginning and kind of through this whole video just because it was you know, crazy with all the cars in the rain and just everything but uh again if, you, if this is your first time watching click like subscribe and uh the part two to this the 100 lap enduro it is amazing there's so much action that's why this video it would have been about 40 minutes if i put it all together um but anyways uh that will be coming out tomorrow so uh but as for now this is just uh part one of opening night uh thanks for watching and uh yeah here comes the next one will be here tomorrow so we'll see you in the next one